everyone welcome back so if you're new here thanks for stopping by and if you're returning thank you for coming back i know my videos have been kind of sporadic lately i apologize for that i have been really busy trying to get my craft room the way i want it um and it's taking a long time so i wanted to show you a journal that i was working on that i have completed this one's for my mom um it's larger than a normal journal because I forgot to cut it down before I went and decorated it but you know what it kind of worked out so let me show you so on here I have a chain um, that is hooked to a latch and it does come over and it attaches to the back here so that's what it looks like this is the front. I did sew in four signatures. And that's the back. So there is room for it to grow if needed. And then I just hook it to this just to keep it from getting caught. So we have two butterflies on the front and some lace and then we've got these flowers and the book corners on the front when you open it up it is quite large um, so we have a folio here just a little folio it has some extras in it for writing And I just have that clipped in with a bull clip at the front. We have this journal card that I made with some lace and a peacock. I have some postcards in here. My mom loves postcards. And thanks to a lot of people in groups, um, I had postcards being sent to me from all over the world. I really appreciate that. So we have an envelope here and there's some more postcards in here. Some of these are brand new. Some of them are written on, some of them are vintage. It just depends. And then this just goes back around. I got a little butterfly applique here with some lace. Now, this is made with a cereal box. And there's also um, a manila folder inside to give it some extra stability. I used craft paper here so you could write on it. These journal inserts are made with... Um, papers from everywhere, so my porch print stuff, Design Space, um, and a couple other places on Etsy. I've just kind of went through and made some stuff. So I'm just going to quickly flip through. This is some paper that I had laying around. It's kind of like a resume paper. Same thing with these. Paper, coffee dye paper that I made. Lots of writing space in here. This is one of my first big journals with sewing in a signature like this. We have a tuck spot here with a postcard and then also over here with another postcard. We have another postcard here and it's being held with a hidden paper clip that I made. So hidden paper clips. We have a belly band here that she can use made out of lace. This is some fabric that someone sent me, like some peacock fabric. I used that to make a pocket. We have a postcards from Japan um, that were mailed to me and my mom. So we have that. Um, LA Queen helped me out with that and sent me some postcards from Japan. So my mom now has postcards from Japan. She was so excited when she saw that. I did show her this, so she has seen everything. I made this with some papers that I found off of Creative Fabrica. 
And these are stickers from Steph's Design Space. These butterfly stickers. I have lace that I have attached to pages. I know this is really thick. I got some more postcards being held on under a belly band with a paper clip to keep them on there. This, I made a pocket on the front. It has um, a tag that someone made and sent to me for the journal. And then this is a altered card. So inside there's some writing paper. We have a little library pocket here with a tag I made. I've got a stacked pocket here. This was an embossed uh, time card that someone sent me. Some more postcards are in here. I'm not going to flip through all the postcards because there's a lot of postcards in here. Just know that if you sent a postcard to me, it's in here. <laughs> So we have this adorable little thing here. This comes out and has writing space on it. This is from my porch prints. It opens like this. And there is another postcard tucked in back there. Some tags. And then this is another journal spot here. It just slides right in like that. You can use these as journal toppers as well. I thought it would look really cute inside. <coughs> so I did that instead. I put this on. This is stuck down. It's just decorative. Uh, Amber's Journey sent me some postcards as well from the um, Science Center in her area. So I have those. Another hidden paper clip that I made. I put some little decorations on these. Another belly band. This could be used as a pocket. So we got some more postcards here. And then there's also an envelope tucked in here. She can use for putting things. This is some paper that someone sent me and I used some die cuts um, from the ephemera packs with Stuff's Design Space. The Peacock ephemera pack used that. And then as you see, there's some really old postcards here. They are written on um, that someone sent me. This is just like a little tuck. And then she also sent me this beautiful peacock paper that I just, I felt like it just needed centered on a page. It was really pretty. Um, on this side, I have some postcards tucked in and a double belly band. So there's this belly band here, and then there's a belly band underneath. Some tag some pockets. This is a, um, a pocket. It's made out of acetate, and it holds another postcard that I got from LA Queen DG on Instagram. Um, she has, she's also on coffee. So, um, if you go over to coffee, you can sign up, um, for her subscription boxes. So, like she has subscriptions that she mails every month. And then she also has like a shopping program where she'll shop for you in Japan and send you stuff. Um, there is a down payment and stuff, but I have a package coming from Japan soon. I absolutely love her services. Um, I made this, I thought this was cute. It's like a step fold out. And I did it to fold out both ways. Another library pocket. It just has a little library card in it. And then I have this down here. This is like a, a little pocket. Everything's glued down though. We got some more postcards here. Another library pocket. And I used some vellum from simply gilded on top from a box from a long time ago a little envelope here this is a pocket as well it holds a couple more postcards another step so this one is a pocket from stuff's design space this was sassy 
um, Paper Palace um, freebie from Stuff's Design Space, and I used her freebie in here because it's blue, and my mom's favorite color is blue, and she loves owls, so I just put some of these in there. <coughs> And then she has this tag. Another one that I've just stuck down. Love these. These are so pretty. These are from Etsy. Um, the Dodd Group. D-O-D-D. -D. And that's what I did with those. These came in a... Happy mail from someone in a group um, that I used. This also came from a person in a happy mail and just attached it to here because I thought it was really cute and you got these little birds. And then this is another pocket and in this pocket is this beautiful card that was given to me. And then there's also some postcards in there as well. Yeah, this is beautiful. My mom absolutely loved it when I showed it to her. And then we've got these pages, just some blank paper. Lots of blank paper and writing spaces and, whoops. Another postcard. That postcard came from Stuff's Design Space. This is like just some paper from my port prints that I just glued down to the page. another paper clip that I made and it's in a um, lace pocket and it's just kind of holding these in place there. <coughs> That's the other side of it. I made a little page corner here. There's also a little pocket here. My mom loves owls so once again I have an owl. This is actually paper from my porch prints and I just tucked a postcard behind the postcards. I thought that was cute. Got another envelope here with another of my hidden paper clips. Some more. Another belly band. This is an envelope back here with peacocks on it. Another postcard. Some more postcards. This whole book is filled with postcards. Now once you take all the postcards out, I'm sure that it'll be flatter. But there's a lot of postcards in here because that's what she loves. So I stuffed it. More postcards. Lots of postcards. This, um, a lady from one of the groups made these for me. Absolutely beautiful. And I put them in here. They went perfect. Did some like little playing cards writing page more writing papers lots of writing papers i left lots of writing space in here we got some more postcards here this is another full one it has a little tiny pocket so this is a mixed media that someone sent me recently um and i just used it as a tuck spot and tucked these postcards that she sent me behind it and i thought this was beautiful i love the colors on this Some more postcards. I have a little paper clip here holding those in. Um, another tuck, another corner, page corner that I made. And we've got another little tuck spot here, as you can see. Another one here. Lots of writing space. We got another belly band here with another one of those from Amber. And then we've got another envelope back here. This is another Science Center one. I made this. This is a, um, a card, an altered card. So I have these in here. And then it flips out like this. And there's another postcard under here and another writing spot here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
this is a celestial peacock that I have on a hidden paper clip there. This is just like for writing space. Just write whatever you want. Yeah. Lots of writing space here. Another envelope that someone sent me. This was inside the envelope. I took it out of the envelope and then put it to the front of the envelope and then put a postcard inside the envelope. I thought this was beautiful on the outside. And I just made like a little booklet of owls that she likes. It's just a little tiny booklet. Another lace. This is another mixed media thing that that, um, that one of the ladies had sent me and I used it as a pocket. I thought it was super cute. I love these mixed media stuff. I need to learn how to do these. Um, and then I made this little folio here and it has lace pockets and tags and all kinds of goodies in it. So I made that. And then this is a stuffed pocket from my porch prints. Um, so I made that as well. And just kind of stuffed it in there. So that is everything in this ginormous book. I know this book is so large. I have done better. I've made some more since then and I've, you know, perfected a few things and I'm still learning on some of them, but I got all that. So that is together. Now we're gonna I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, and my mom actually made this. This is a jewelry piece that she made that I used as a closure. And then I had somewhere here. I don't know what I did with it. I did have a little... Um, little thing I was going to put on it. I don't know where to put it. One moment. So I got this from um, Steph's Design Space, and this is a owl charm and a little tag. There we go. So as you can see, it's just this cute little owl that she made. Um, this is actually going to go. We'll put it here. Maybe I should put it at the bottom. Yeah, we'll put it at the bottom. All right. So we're just going to slide that in and then clip it closed. There we go. And now there's a cute little owl charm at the bottom here. So I have that. I knew I had it here somewhere. So I thought that was cute. All right. So now her little owl charm is dangling there. Got that situated. So thanks everyone for stopping by today. I'll be back with some more journals soon. Um, I've been busy making journals for a lot of people. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.